uplifting your spirit through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional. The faith I live by, the strange act of God. For the Lord shall rise up in Mount Perizim. He shall be wrought as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act. Isaiah 28, 21. With unerring accuracy, the infinite one still keeps an account with all nations. While his mercy is tendered, we calls to repentance, this account will remain open. But when the figures reach a certain amount, which God has fixed, the ministry of his wrath commence. The account is closed. Divine patience ceases. There is no more pleading of mercy in their behalf. The prophet, looking down the ages, had this time presented before his vision. The nations of this age have been the recipients of unprecedented mercies. But increased pride, covetousness, idolatry, contempt of God, and base ingratitude are written against them. They are fast closing up their account with God. The crisis is fast approaching. The rapidly swelling figures show that the time of God's visitation has about come. To our merciful God, the act of punishment is a strange act. As I live, said the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Ezekiel 33, 11. Yet he will by no means clear the guilty. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquitted the wicked. Exodus 34, 6 and 7. Nahum 1 and th verse 3. By terrible things in righteousness, he will vindicate the authority of his downtrodden law. The severity of the retribution awaiting the transgressors may be judged by the Lord's reluctance to execute justice. The nation with which he bears long and which he will not smite until it has filled up the measure of its iniquity in God's account, will finally drink the cup of wrath unmixed with mercy. After God has done all that could be done to save men, if they still show by their lives that they slight offered mercy, death will be their portion, and it will be a dreadful death, for they will have to feel the agony that Christ felt upon the cross. They will then realize what they have lost, eternal life and the immortal inheritance. The Faith I Live By, November 28. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.